I'm trying to find a good way to really explain it. You have a girl, girl of your dreams. Anytime you see her, you just mesmerize and you want her so bad. You finally get a chance to have her and then the sex is whack. Don't be no set. Oh, that best egg me for the head. Y'all rats up cheese. Really get the zone get down for the bread. Yeah. Let him sleep. Yeah. Let him sleep. Yeah. Call it plot. Cotton some bar for the week. Who's, who's smoking that trash? We smoking that gas. Today, what I want to talk about is things I like and things I dislike about owning a challenger. Now, I've had this car for almost a month right about three and a half weeks now three weeks and it's things i like and it's things i can say i dislike so the first thing i'm gonna start off with is gas gas like that's the first thing i dislike about this car now granted this isn't a uh um eight cylinder it's not a freaking rt it's not a scat pack it's not a uh hellcat but this bad boy drinks gas like gatorade like iced tea like sweet tea this motherfucker drink gas like sweet tea i had a 2018 camry i would fill my camry up and i would go to the pump literally up up is that an accident no he macking he really pulled over to the side of the road to Mac with her. That's crazy. I would fill my Camry up, right? It took like 30 to $35 to fill up my Camry. And it would literally take about three weeks before I'd have to go back to the gas pump. This, this was amazing. This was amazing. Like, it would literally take me about three weeks before I had to go back to the gas pump to do anything anything but this bad boy right here oh nah bro this bad boy right here takes the cake this bad boy takes the cake so that's my first thing is gas second thing i want to say i dislike um based on how this car is right this is a big car and it's a cool it has a crazy blind spot you see them them pillars right there I don't know if y'all see the, the pillars, but it's milk. My son spilled milk on the pillars. But it's a crazy blind spot because of those pillars. So switching lanes, you can't really jump in on and out of switching lanes. It's, it's just not... I wouldn't suggest that. You know what I'm saying? You have to kind of double take, double take. But the way I was able to combat that, because I didn't have the one that came with the... Um, the blind spot monitoring i bought these like these little mirrors that you put on top of the mirror and what it does is it shows you like your blind spot you feel me and anybody could get it bro you can get it for any car i had it on my mustang before because the mustang had a blind spot that i wasn't used to also and what that do that joint help you it literally helps you see your blind spot. Okay, it's like four dollars at Pep Boys. So that's my second thing I don't like about the car is the blind spot. Now, to be real with you, I've seen videos where people say they don't like how big this car feels. Cause this is a big bitch. Now this is a BBW. I'm letting you know right now. Like I I love her. I love big girls. And this is no different. This car is no different. This is a BBW. She feel big. You feel me? She she sound big. You know what I mean? Like, so if, you, if you're not used to driving big cars, I would say stay away from this joint. I wasn't used to driving big cars. I was a little intimidated at first, but I've gotten used to it. In certain spots that I thought I wouldn't be able to maneuver in, because I was, you know what I'm saying? I always go to like, Dunkin' Donuts and stuff like that. And I always go to these restaurants and they always have these cramped up spots when you go through the drive-thru. Oh, they go another one. What's up, twin? What's up, twin? <laughs> but yeah. But since I've had this car, I haven't had any any issues. 
the one thing I can say though, you have to watch out for other people because you might stay in your lane and somebody else might make a slight mistake and you would have to kind of move the car out the way. I've seen a lot of people that have this car have little like side nicks and side dents and all that type of stuff. And I want to say I don't feel as though all those dents are 100% their fault. I feel as though in some cases somebody else might have side swiped them. Like since I've had this car, I've had to avoid a lot of truck drivers doing like stupid stuff. You feel me? So I want to say that's probably to me it's not a negative, but to other people it might be because the car is so big that you know you have to really pay attention. You have to really pay attention. It, it tests your driving skill. After driving this around, I do wish I had gotten in a faster one. Because this car is, it does have some giddy up. It definitely does have some giddy up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a good way to really explain it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have a girl or a woman or whatever, girl of your dreams, Right? Anytime you see her, you just mesmerize and you want her so bad. You finally get a chance to have her and then the sex is whack. The sex is whack. That's that's the best way I can explain what it's like to have a V6. Now, I'm not saying the sex is completely trash because with my Camry, the sex was trash. Okay, she was a wholesome woman. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. My Camry was wholesome. You feel me? But the sex was, was trash. With this one, she a nice little BBW. The sex ain't all the way trash, but it's not it's not what it could be. So, guess I'm well, all I'm trying to say is Get a V8, no matter what. Get a V8. The reason I got a V6 was because I drive it every day. And the first thing I said, it drink gas. So I already know, as much as I go to the gas pump now, if I had a, a V8, I'd have been going to the gas pump way more. So, you know what I'm saying? Pick your poison. Yeah, I don't like the fact that this joint don't have leather seats, right? But at the same time, the seats are comfortable. The seats are very comfortable. I just felt as though they would be better with leather seats. So, I'm learning from my mistake. I know better next time. Okay? I know better next time. Um, What else? Okay. This, is, this really depends on the type of person you are. Having a car like this, you get a lot of attention. If you like attention, then it's a plus. If you don't really like attention, then it's it's a negative. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people have these type of cars, but at the same time, you know, like for me, the color, champagne. A lot of people don't have the champagne color. So the moment people see this joint, they, they stop me and they ask questions. You feel what I'm saying? Now, the one thing I can say about owning this car is that I see it brings out it brings out the, the hate is such a strong word, but it brings out the envy in people. I don't care if they're white, black, Asian. I don't care where they from. When people see this car, it definitely brings out the envy them. And like they have a, a lot of people have a certain, a certain uh, preconceived notion of the type of people that own this car, especially if you're black. You feel me? Like, I remember when I pulled up at, at my job or whatever, my co-worker had hit me up and she was like, yo, well, now you look like a gangster. Which, which is crazy. When you see black dudes own this car, you typically say, oh, he either selling drugs or he in the military. <laughs> You feel me? He even selling drugs ain't in the military, but I think military dudes be owning charges and stuff like that. So that that's you know what I'm saying, that's something you gotta get used to is the attention. 
another thing is that a lot of folks like they want to steal this car especially where i'm at right here in atlanta a lot of people get carjacked for having cars like this you know what i'm saying like especially if you have like the srts and the hellcats and stuff like that so since i've owned this car i've been traveling with my gun a lot I'd be like, I'll, I'll have my gun on my lap. My head will be on a swivel. Even when I pump gas, like, my head is always on a swivel. You feel what I'm saying? So, this car brings a lot of positive and negative attention. A lot of positive and negative attention. I think that that might be it for things I dislike about this car. But overall, I really like the car. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had a, a sunroof. You know what I'm saying? The fact that I don't have a sunroof, that's another negative. But hold on. Before we even get to what I like, I got to go to, I got to go up in there. I got to send some money to my moms. So I'm going to be right back. Bro, so I just went to Western Union, some money to my mother. And these folks really just told me Western Union is down. So now I have to drive to another city. <laughs> you feel me? I have to drive to another city. To try to send money to my moms something that i'm not trying to do because you know we're trying to save gas you feel what i'm saying like come on y'all y'all gotta do better though western union always something always happened with western union over here bro when my when my wife had to get money and stuff oh we don't have enough money in the store like you serious Anyway, things I love about the car. I love that sound. Y'all hear that sound? I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do a pull. Actually, I'm gonna do one pull. I'm gonna do one pull because I'm about to get on the highway right now, so I might as well merge with traffic. So look, I'm gonna do one pull, okay? Just because. Just for the video. You hear that? You hear that? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. Cause I want y'all to see my, my facial expressions. <sighs> Bro. Alright, that's it. I can never get tired of that sound, bro. I love that sound. 